cause some trouble later. Best to deal with this now. All right, time to train. Huh, Dad! Sorry about that. Now, what do you say we start out with training? All right, for starters, I want the both of you to come at me. Both of us? Are you seriously that full of yourself? Go on. I want to see you at your full power. Try and catch him off guard and overwhelm him. Okay. Let's see what you two can do. Don't hold back. Yes. Not bad. Now that's more like it. Come on, go. Keep at it. I will, Mr. Piccolo. You and I are strong, too. Stronger, go on. <laughs> you think so? Of course he has. Unlike other kids, he's already gone up against the likes of Vegeta and Frieza. Good point. Being here reminds me of when you first started training me, Mr. Piccolo. <laughs> you mean when you were a pathetic ball of tears? What? No, not that. <laughs> oh, okay. I'm starting to get it. So, this is where you guys trained when I was dead, huh? Yeah. Mr. Piccolo was super tough on me. I had no choice in the matter. He was useless to us back then, and I did what I had to do to fix him. Sorry to put you through that, Piccolo. Gohan's a lot stronger now, and it's all thanks to you. And who knows? If he keeps it up, there's no telling how strong he'll get. My stronger than you two? 
No way! He'd better. We're gonna be in real trouble if he doesn't. No kidding. And that's why I'm here to help you guys out. Let's show him how strong you can get in three years, Gohan. Y yeah, speaking of everyone, I wonder what kind of training they're going through. Vegeta's most likely sticking to himself and off somewhere doing his own thing. Oh, don't worry about him. I'm sure Vegeta will be fine. <laughs> He trained in some sort of room where he had control over gravity. I need to access that room. That annoying woman's old man is the only one who could construct something like that. Where is he? Where is that damn geezer at? There he is. There you are. Yes? Can I help you? What is going on with that training room I asked you to build? Basic construction is complete. I just need a few more items for the finishing touches. Yeah, like what? There aren't a lot of things that can take a beating from you, you know? This thing has got to be durable. Let's cut to the chase. I finish your shopping and you finish the room, that right? That's right, you got it. Here's what I need you to get for me. And that about does it for the things I need. <laughs> you want me to get this, huh? You'll see, Kakarot. I'm going to push myself further than you and become a Super Saiyan. <laughs> well now, this might be good. I'll do whatever it takes until I'm strong enough to beat Kakarot. And not just any Super Saiyan. I'm going to become the ultimate Super Saiyan, whose power is far beyond yours. This one might provide a challenge. I only helped out because I was bored. Easy prey. Towns are more organized than I thought. Ah! 
You a local on this rock? I got a business proposition for you. Give me what you got, and I might not kill you. Who the hell are you? Remnants of Frieza's pitiful army? Are you... Vegeta? W what are you doing here? Oh, I get it. With the Frieza Force gone, you've become a galactic highwayman, too. Sorry, but I got here first, and I ain't sharing with you. You caught me in a bad mood. That will be your final mistake. Die! might be good. <laughs> This'll do. This should be worth eating. Ooh, might keep that apple. This should be worth eating. Ooh, might keep that apple.
Got a gun! Prepare yourself! Easy prey. We got what you asked for. That better be all of it. Now that I have this, the room's as good as ready. Wait here. All right, it's finished. Kakarot trained under 100 times gravity, so I'll have to triple that and train under 300 times gravity. Actually, I wouldn't do that if I were you. Assuming you weigh, say, about 175 or so pounds, that'd be approximately 18 tons of pressure. That's only three times what Kakarot did. There's no way I can't handle it. That Vegeta is unbelievable. Training under 300 times gravity? Is he trying to kill himself? Damn it! Uh... Vegeta, what are you doing? <sighs> Shut up, woman. Leave me be. Oh, you don't want my help? Suit yourself. Why? Why can't I reach his level? I... I am the Prince of the Saiyans. Sheesh. There's just no getting through to you, is there? <sighs> You're insane. Have you been at it this whole time? <sighs> <sighs> You're not going to make any progress if you keep this up. <laughs> Why don't you just ask Goku what he does to turn into a Super Saiyan? I'd die before I ask for that low-class loser's help! Yeah? Then why don't you try dying? What did you say? I've prepared a special training partner for you in the simulator. Think you can beat them? Do you have any idea who you're talking to, you ridiculous woman? You're Vegeta, the almighty Saiyan prince, right? <laughs> I guess that settles it then. Good luck. And one more thing. My name's Bulma, not woman. Think you can remember that? Do you know who you're talking to? D damn that woman! This place. This is the wasteland where I first fought Kakarot. Which means... But how? I'm fighting myself? What the hell? <laughs> Consider yourself lucky.
A super elite like myself, wasting his time playing with scum like you. Damn, that blasted woman! What the hell is her problem? You're not the limit of all the that effort alone isn't enough to reach my level. I will go beyond Kakarot and this bastard version of myself! Don't underestimate me! You're more disappointing than I thought. You're about to see that there are no limits to my power! Prepare yourself! Don't underestimate me! I will surpass even myself. I will punish myself for lagging behind Kakarot. Wow, I guess that wasn't enough of a challenge for you, huh? You. You really know how to piss me off. Oh, come on. I was just messing around with you. More. Huh? You're right. It wasn't enough. You're going to make me a stronger opponent. <sighs> Don't you take that tone with me! I'm going to get stronger and use that strength to crush those androids! You have a problem with that, Bulma? Fine. You're a real pain, you know that? Wait. He just called me Bulma for the first time, didn't he? Kakarot, 
I will surpass you. Just wait. You'll realize that I'm number one. Hey, Chi Chi, we're back. Hi, Mom. Man, we really worked up a sweat today. Goku, do you have a second? Sure, Chi Chi, but can it wait? I'm starving. Don't you? I'm starving me. I got a bone to pick with you. Yeah. Why can't you act more like our neighbors and drive us to the store once in a while? But Chi Chi, we don't have a car. And even if we did, I couldn't drive it. I don't have a license. You need to get a driver's license. You're the only one around here who still doesn't have something that basic. Piccolo doesn't have one either. What use would I have for that? Then you need to go to driver's ed. Think of it as training to become normal everyday people. You're both obsessed with training, right? Then you can't say no. What? Why do I have to? The next day, after catching an earful from Chi Chi, Goku and Piccolo reluctantly made for town to enroll in driving school. Now then, shall we begin the driving lesson? <laughs> If this is how it's gonna be, then I'm all in. Listen up, Goku. Whether it's in battle or on the road, I'm not losing to you. All right, I get you. This is a different type of training. It's on, Piccolo. Um, there's no need to view this as a competition. Are you all right? Let's do this. Remember, safety first, okay? Hey, not too bad. This, this isn't putting safety first! We should be able to make it, right? I bet this thing can go even faster. No, 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 no! can go even faster! Uh, don't forget about safety! Woohoo! No, 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 no! Uh, don't forget about safety! Man, this feels great! Too bad. No, 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 no! Woohoo! We should be able to make it, right? I bet this thing can go even faster. No, 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 no! Woohoo! This isn't putting safety first! Man, this feels great! No, 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 no! Uh, don't forget about safety! I bet this thing can go even faster! Uh-oh! I really screwed that up! How was that? Oh, oh my. All right. Looks like I'm the winner, Piccolo. Oh wow. Who are these guys? <laughs> One more time, Goku. Wait. I said wait. A license isn't some prize for bragging rights. It's to ensure that you can drive safely and responsibly. Like I care about that. I will not accept defeat from the likes of him. <laughs> I think I'm starting to get a hang of this whole driving thing, don't you? Let's go, Piccolo. Come on, let's do this thing. Uh, excuse me? With pleasure. <laughs> what? 
It's on, Goku. Oh, yeah, Piccolo? <laughs> Hey, Chi-Chi, we're back! Goku, so how'd it go? <laughs> Handled it like a complete pro. I beat Piccolo no problem. <laughs> you what? I'm not exactly sure what you mean by that, but whatever. Did you get your license? Oh, actually, there's probably something you should know. I think the instructor was a little freaked out by how we drove. She told us she'd give us our licenses if we promised to never come back. <laughs> so... so you... you didn't actually pass the test? Well, well, at least you got your license. Yep. Now we can buy a car and finally go on those family drives I've been dreaming about. Well, the thing is, they also said we'd have to pay for all the damages caused during the test. And I can't even guess how much that'd be. What? Uh, I'm not so good with money, so... I'll let you handle that. Thanks, Gigi. You... You... Well, now that that's done, let's get back to training. Yeah! M Mom? Whoa, Chi-Chi. You all right? I know it wasn't easy, but you finally got your license, Goku. I'm proud of you. Now all we need is a car. A car? Do we even have money for that kind of purchase? Well, not after paying back the city for all of the damages you caused when you were taking the test to get your driver's license. I'm counting on you to get us that car, Goku. Oh, right. I see. Sorry about that. Hey, uh, why don't... Why don't I ask Bulma? She's a whiz with machines. Cars are machines. Good idea. Bulma always has a solution up her sleeve. That's true. I guess I'll hit her up about it then. You do that. Oh, hey, Goku. What brings you here? Well, it's not a big deal, but I was hoping you could help me with a little problem. Uh, sure. What's up? Not sure if you heard, but Chi-Chi made me get a driver's license, which is fine, but the thing is, now she wants a car. Got an extra one lying around in those tiny capsules? <laughs> Doesn't that beat all? Earth's champion, now a licensed driver. <laughs> sure, I can get you a car. Seriously? You don't strike me as a responsible driver. Any normal car would turn to scrap with you behind the wheel. Find me the stuff I need. And I'll hook you up with an extra sturdy set of wheels. All right, then. So what do you think we need? It's all on this list. Be sure to refer to it when you're out scavenging so you don't forget anything. Oh, and one more thing. Leave all matters of maintenance and upgrades to me. Excellent. Thanks a lot, Bulma. Don't mention it. After all, happy wife, happy life. <laughs> I'm home, Chi-Chi! Well, did you get us a car? After I round up a bunch of materials, Bulma's gonna make one for us. Really? That's wonderful, Goku! Then you'd better get to finding those materials! I'm sure it'll be good training, too. I don't know if I'd go that far, but then again, you never know till you try. <laughs> All right. What should I do today? Dad! Mom's calling for you! Really? Uh, okay. Hey, Piccolo, do you think you could take Gohan and train him for a while? At least until I can catch up. <laughs> Fine. Goku? I just got a call from Master Roshi. He said launch is back at Kame House. Oh, yeah? Talk about a blast from the past. So what's going on with her? I'm not sure, but he said she wanted to talk to you about something. But I've got training to do. Don't you dare be disrespectful to Master Roshi. Just head over there and hear them out. Oh, yeah, you're right. Guess I'll make my way over there. Be careful. Well, 
Better get going, I guess. Better get going, I guess. All right, not too much longer now. I wonder how Master Roshi and everyone are doing. Ah, there you are, Goku. Would you mind listening to what Launch has to say? Launch? It's been a while. Someone forget about you? What's up? What's up? I'll tell you what's up. Tien, all three eyes, is back in the promised land. Uh, yeah. So... Seeing that he cheated death and all, I thought a visit was in order. Then why don't you just go? I did, but he wasn't home. I've been by time and time again with no luck. Apparently, the oaf's out traveling the world, training. Hasn't been back since. I ain't got the foggiest idea where he could be. That makes two of us. I don't know either. Ah, don't give me that. You can fly. Find him for me. Come on, I'm begging ya. Mm. What? You can sense energy, you dolt. Zeroing in on him should be a piece of cake. Oh, yeah. I forgot about that. <laughs> Sorry to blank out on you there, Master Roshi. Let's see now. Hmm. Tien. Tien. All right, got him. Hey, he's near my house. What? You found him? Already? Yep. If that's all, I'll be on my merry... You idiot! I'm not ready yet. I wasn't expecting you to find him so fast. Seeing him requires, you know, preparation. Why don't you try to keep him busy till I'm done? Got it? I'll... Sheesh. You try to be nice to people. 